our cameraman takes you on an exclusive tour of one of our national salvage plants. Food for this huge mill in the south of England is waste paper, tons of it, carried by huge gantry cranes into the storehouses. Valuable scrap, which will live again as cardboard and a dozen different articles of war material. The important thing to remember is that it is you and I who keep these mills in operation. Thousands of people are employed in the factory, yet output is still well below capacity. That deficit is lying idle in shops and homes and blowing about the streets of Britain. The process of repulping is an interesting one. In large oval vats, beaters churn the waste paper in hot water during an initial refining process. Straining removes all lumpy matter and leaves a solution of pulp which is subjected to further refining and chemical treatment. Your salvage is now in solution. So the mush goes around and around and it comes out here at the vats, where the fibres are taken from the water and made to adhere to an endless woolen felt. This is done in such a manner that layer upon layer of fibre is added as the felt moves along the machine until at the end of this operation a wide sheet of cardboard has been formed. It travels over steam heated rollers extending 50 feet from the ground floor. The largest machine in the country turning out cardboard at the rate of 2,000 tonnes a week. Now we see the finished article being taken away from the machines to be cut into smaller reels or sheets. As a tailpiece to this story, we invite you to look at some of the byproducts of waste paper. When next you hear the woof of an anti-aircraft shell, just think that probably a few minutes ago that shell was being carried to the gun in a container made from waste paper. Perhaps your waste paper. <laughs> <laughs>